Tonight I'll start with my uh, monthly update on the sales tax uh, uh, report. Uh, and uh, we've taken to call in this chart our, our gloomy graph. And, uh, it, and indeed it is. It looks back over the last 13 months. And uh, you can see only during that period of time we've only had one uh, green bar here, if you will. So this, uh, this update tonight uh, talks about our sales tax remittance for the month of May, which reflects sales during uh, the uh, month of March. And you can see it's down 5%. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's go. Let's, can you take us back? No, it, it, that, I, yeah, I, I wish I could flip it, uh, but it, uh, yes, that, uh, those are negative numbers. So for fiscal year 16-17, our sales tax collections are now about 4.26 uh, below our, pri our uh, prior year levels. There's a lot of talk about the, uh, the so-called Amazon effect uh, that we may be able to see an increase uh, later this summer going into the fall. And if we do, that'll be recorded really as a part of our use tax. So we're going to continue to uh, continue to monitor this uh, very carefully. Sex, uh, second uh, chart here has to do with our National Small Business Week. Uh, we celebrated uh, that here just recently, National Small Business Week, and uh, very thankful for the work uh, that the Norman Chamber, we partnered with the, name, the Norman Chamber along with the Economic Development Coalition, the Norman Transcript, and the Pioneer Library System on May the 2nd. We had over 40 people uh, attended our workshop. They heard from 11 speakers representing several uh, resource partners, and uh, pro we were able to provide some free and low-cost assistance to small businesses and aspiring entrepreneurs. And so uh, we're thankful for those who, who co-hosted with us on that. Next, just a couple of things here in terms of Norman Ford. Uh, here's just a, uh, an aerial view of some of the work going on at the East Branch Library. Uh, the site grading and the earthwork continue. We're about 90% complete on the site earthwork itself. Uh, the installation of the site uh, sewer line is well underway. Uh, the construction of the building pad uh, has made substantial progress, and, and we see, see over the next three weeks uh, the installation of some of the under building pad utilities will be taking place as well. And so uh, it, when you, it's kind of hard, difficult to see here, but that's just a view looking uh, back to the looking back to the west, and you can see the fire station uh, there in the background. Uh, Go ahead, you can advance, Larry. Uh, the next is the uh, just a quick update on the Westwood Family Aquatic Center. Uh, here's a couple of photos, and you can see on the first photo to the left, you can see some construction workers as they're setting the forms uh, for the three-meter dive tower at the lap pool. Uh, the image in the middle represents some of the lazy river walls that are being installed. And then finally is the uh, lap pool shell in the dive tower that's being installed uh, out there. Uh, next is, uh, and it's already been mentioned by a couple of council members here, the uh, Lindsay Street uh, um, bond project. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I think it's helpful to go back, and when you're in the midst of a, a major project like this, you, you, you know, you want to go back and think, well, why did we start this project to begin with? Because it has been very painful uh, for merchants of, along that corridor, as well as motorists who travel up and down that corridor every day. Uh, but I just thought it was helpful to go back, and, and of course, Lindsay is the gateway to the University of Oklahoma. It is services one of our major commercial corridors. But when we went back and we took on this project, we have to remember that that this was the number one traffic congested area in the entire Oklahoma City metro area. Uh, this area had traffic accident rates about three times the national average for similar classified roadways. Uh, and then finally, we all know that this intersection of Lindsay and McGee was the so-called Lake, or is the Lake McGee, uh, which was ranked as our number one strain, uh, stormwater drainage issue back in our master plan in 2009. And so uh, we are trying to accomplish a lot within this corridor, and these have been some very chronic problems that have plagued the community for a number of years. And so uh, we're improving drainage, we're improving access, the streetscaping will be, you know, be wonderful when it, when it gets finished. Uh, we would estimate we're about 65% complete, just generally speaking, on the project. Uh, there's been some major infrastructure that has been completed. Of course, the bridge over Imhoff, all the paving east of Berry Road. Uh, there's been this major 8-foot by 7-foot uh, drainage structure uh, from McGee Drive to 24th Avenue Southwest. And, of course, the other drainage structure from Wiley Road to Imhoff Creek. And so uh, we're making good progress out there, uh, but uh, just wanted to remind people of, uh, of the major issues we've been trying to resolve here. 
And I'll just conclude there. The last slide I had has already been uh, mentioned by Council Member Hickman. So thank you for your time, Mayor.